this video, we're going to be tackling the leak code question clone graph. And guess what? This is an easy, easy question that is asked everywhere. It is very common. So it's about to be a good day, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's jump in. So first things first, they're going to give you a node. Now, here's the thing about all of these data structures. They're really not that much different from each other. You're probably familiar with a linked list. You're probably familiar with a tree. Those are all node-based data structures, but graphs differ in one respect. They can be circular. They can be connected together almost like in a circle. Linked list, you can't do that. Tree, you can't do that. But a graph, they can be connected almost like in little webs. And this node, this little magical node, is what gives us this ability. The int is just there to store a value, but this list node neighbors is what gives graphs this ability to be almost like circular in a way. But how exactly are we going to clone it? How exactly are we going to search it? And how exactly are we going to prevent an endless loop? Well, in order to actually visit all of the nodes, we're going to have to use something called DFS, which is depth first search which is basically a fancy name for recursion. We are going to recursively search through this graph. Now, you may be asking yourself, why aren't we gonna do it iteratively? You can do it iter iteratively, but it's going to be a lot more difficult and you're not going to get any more speed out of it. Recursion is going to save us a lot of time. It's going to make our code look fantastic and it's just a lot easier. But we still have to figure out this loop thing. If we're going to be recursing through it, it could just begin to loop through it, recurse through it forever if we don't do something. And that thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a hash map to keep track of all of the nodes that we have visited. So essentially it's going to work like this. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my trusty red box right here. And this trusty red box is a pointer. It stands for the location that we are at within the recursive process. And because we haven't visited any other nodes in the graph, guess what? We can go ahead, we can clone the very first node, which is going to be one, but that's pretty much the whole entire process. But the thing is, is that we have to traverse to the other nodes. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to check the node and then we're going to check the neighbors. And we're going to recurse to nodes that we haven't visited before. So if we haven't visited before, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move to the next node. And the same exact process is going to happen. We're going to go ahead and clone it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to try to recurse again. The program is going to try to recurse. And if we run out of nodes or if there is a node that we have visited, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add it to the previous nodes list of neighbors. And this process is going to repeat until we don't have any more nodes left. And that's how our actual graph is going to get built. It's pretty much it. So let's go ahead. Let's hop into IntelliJ and let's code it up. So we are inside of IntelliJ, and the first thing that I'm going to do is create a brand new Java class. I'm going to call this Node. Now, you don't have to create the Node if you don't want to, but I think it's a great learning experience because a lot of times you use these Nodes and you don't even know what they even look like. So let's go ahead, just cut out this Node really quick. It'll take just a second. We'll go ahead, this will be our neighbors. We're going to import this. Next thing, we need a constructor. So. We are going to set this val equal to zero. The neighbors will go ahead and set to an array list. We also need another constructor to just pass in the sole val by itself. And also we'll go ahead and initialize the neighbors. And then also we need one where we can pass in the constructor with the actual neighbors. And we'll go ahead, the AI is pretty much gonna do everything for us. So we've created the node. Let's go ahead. What we're gonna do next is we're going to create a brand new Java class and we are going to call this solution. I'm gonna go ahead, bring this down, make it look real good. So let's go ahead, let's start off with an easy win. Let's create the hash map that we will use to store the nodes that we have visited. And we're just going to create a hash map. Let's go ahead, import this class right here. After that, let's go ahead and create the method that we will use to actually clone the graph. The method that LeetCode wants is going to be called clone graph. Before anything else, 
Let's do a null check. Let's do a null check because if we don't do null checks like that, it's going to kill your speed and make you look bad in front of the interviewer. So each time that we recurse and each time that this function runs, we're going to need to create a brand new node because if the function is recursing and if the function starts off, we're, number one, we're also going to need to create a node. But each time that we recurse, we're going to have to create a new node as well too. And each time that we create a new node, that means we have in fact visited the node. So we're going to go ahead, add it to our map. Next thing, each node that we visit, we also want to check the neighbors. We want to iterate through the neighbors as well too. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And each time that we iterate through the neighbors, we're going to check to see if it exists within our map. And if it doesn't exist within our map, this is where we're going to run our recursion. And that's pretty much it. So. If the graph has been visited, then we want to go ahead and not actually recurse, and we just want to add it to our neighbors. And after everything is said and done, we're going to return the last node, which is where we're going to be at, and Elite Code is going to run the test for us. So let's go ahead, let's copy this. So I'm gonna go ahead, get out of full screen here. I'm going to go ahead, bring Elite Code over. Let's go ahead, get rid of this right here paste that in let's run our test see what we get test our passing let's go ahead hit the submit button make sure that our time complexity is acceptable time complexity should be v plus e we're good to go no crazy time complexity also make sure we don't have any crazy space complexity congratulations we have passed the interview hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did smash that like button smash that subscribe button as always thank you for watching